Welcome to day five. Heaven help us. You've completed four days of the sex challenge and some of you might be wondering if you have the strength, the energy, or even the desire to get through the next three days. We've been there. Many of times. Many times. When we were doing our 60 days of sex challenge, we had one week that was just if it could happen that week, it did. Illness, kids up, Tony and they were urgent care. And when we were finally ready to kind of jump back in the saddle, I had nothing. I didn't want to do it anymore. And yet I knew I'd made a commitment to Tony and I, you know, kind of had those thoughts running through my head. Okay, you promised. You've got to honor, you know, be a person of your word, honor that. And so I did the only thing I could. I prayed. As Tony was making his advances, I am praying to God saying, please give me desire for my husband. Please bring me into this moment with him. Um, he is desiring this, and I want to be a, a wife that is pleasing to him. And I got nothing. So God, if this is going to happen tonight, it's going to be you. And for us guys, there will come a point in time where our stamina is just not there. And maybe your desire just isn't there. It goes both ways. I've been there before where Lisa has made advances on me and I'm just not fully engaged. And at those moments, we look to heaven and we just go, God, be here with us. And one of the things that we've learned over the last few years since our very first challenge is that God belongs in your bedroom. It, Most it, definitely. It's not you know, a room where you close the door and he doesn't get to come in. He is part of your marriage, and the more that you build your marriage on God and on prayer, the stronger that foundation is. So if you haven't prayed together or individually for your marriage, for your desire for your spouse, today's a day to start. If you have prayed together, and maybe it's been a while, or maybe you just need a little extra to get you through the rest of the challenge, today's the day to pray if you haven't done so already. And if you have been, keep praying. It will only serve to enhance your marriage. You know, heaven help us is a pretty good place to go when you've got nowhere else to turn. So day five, go have fun. Let us know how it goes down below in the comments. We hope you're having a fantastic time. And heaven help you, heaven help us. Let's have a great day.